joining me, Katie Razzle, for David Tennant, The Arts Interviews. Watch on BBC iPlayer. Be ready. Change can happen in an instant. Check on the BBC Weather app. Live from London, this is BBC News. As the United Nations warns of looming famine in Gaza, people in isolated northern areas tell the BBC of their desperate situation. When it comes to the flour, people are actually using uh, animal feed. However, even the animal feed is starting to get scarce in the market and people are not finding it. A six-year-old girl who begged for help after being trapped by Israeli gunfire in Gaza is found dead along with two paramedics who tried to rescue her. And Iraq's foreign minister tells the BBC his country could be pushed into conflict by attacks on its territory by Iranian-backed militias and US forces. Hello and welcome to the programme. I'm Frankie McCamley. Now we begin this hour in Gaza, where the death toll has now passed 28,000, according to the Hamas-run health ministry. And concern is growing over the shortage of food. The United